Welcome back to another episode of Funny for Friends. Sorry if you see hear my dogs in the back. My dog, one of them, she likes to bake out in the sun and will come in to cool down and then bake out in the sun again. I don't know, it's weird. But uh, also, just before we get started, don't go check out my Patreon, which is True Crime, Spotify, Laughable Moments, and um, Gamers Blitz. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel here. Uh, today we're doing an a lot some rescue animal stories what your rescue animal story is and trigger warning for any kind of violence um, or anything going on there uh, or abuse of animals as well I guess too so uh, this one here is my rescue girl was left in a box on the front steps of a vet clinic she was maybe four to five weeks old in the box with her she was served um, was severed front was her severed front leg one of her hind legs was badly mangled her tail was torn off and he she had a giant gaping wound in her side unfortunately unfortunately she got the attention of a scam animal rescuer who saw dollar signs from posting this sad story it was my job to change the dressing on her wounds as i went into the room the rescuer scammer handed me his camera and said to make a sad video i made the video and looked at the tiny puppy sitting there so bravely i deleted the vid gave Gave the guy back his camera and told him this dog is mine now. Almost 14 years later and she's still with me. That's awesome. I absolutely love that. I don't like when do when people use animals for their own gain. That's not cool. Uh, I guess the same goes for child exploitation. So trigger warning there about uh, just that word there. Um, and stuff like that. Not cool at all. Um, but let's move on. Okay. And I'm glad she, that was a bit, I'm glad there was a happy ending for the dog there. Mine was hit by a car and left in a high, high kill shelter. A rescue from my state, North US, uh, pulled her provided medical care and then I got her. I planned to meet several dogs when looking for mine, but she was the first I met and I fell in love immediately. She's been my best friend for seven years. My last rescue was 10 months when I got him. He'd been chained to a tree by a guard dog. German Shepherd since he was a baby. Um, oh. Sorry, trained to a tree by a guard dog since he was a baby. He and three other dogs were removed from the yard by animal control. He was sick, skinny, and weak. His back legs would collapse just going down the three stairs to the yard. We got him healthy and happy, and he was the jolliest, goofiest, gentlest dog ever. That's so sweet, and it's so sad that there's still kill shelters out there because those should not exist. Um, you know, we don't do that to humans when we're overpopulated, so why would we do that to dogs? Like, that just... It crushes my uh, heart a little bit, or quite a bit, actually, sorry. My Chloe had spent her first six years living in an outdoor kennel with other dogs year-round, even when she had puppies on the ground in a kennel with other dogs. She had to compete with her with for food. A man I met at a job rescued her, but let her free roam outside, and she was hit by a car. Her jaw was broken and had to be warded and it was a little crooked. He gave her the shelter and food, but she spent most of her time free roaming outside. He had to file bankruptcy and lost his house. I was her last hope because she had bite she had bite history and wouldn't have made it out of the shelter. She was 10 when I brought her home. She passed two weeks before her 15th birthday. We went to the beach hikes, good food, vet care, treats. We sang together. We love her so much. She's the black and tan. She was gone a month after this photo. Oh, I don't, I don't see the photo, but um, it's very sad to see that. Hear about that, I mean, but happy ending still for sure. Um, if there is bite history, it does kind of suck, but... Um, but there's nothing really we can totally do about it, I guess, unfortunately. Like, you can't, the dog can't take that bite back. But I do wish there was more we could do for them. Um, you know, I, I do believe you could train an old dog new tricks and tell them no, like, do not bite. Like, obviously more training than just that. But you know what I mean? Like, there's more to it than just that. And my dogs don't stop barking, so if you hear it in the background, I totally apologize there. Okay, um, next one. Mine was eight months old. Chow slash Rottweiler mix, cute as a teddy bear, uh, listed as female, wrong Australian shepherd, wrong, and fully grown at 29 pounds, also wrong. All the shelter people knew was that he was surrendered because owners would be traveling. I suspect that was not entirely 
Um, true, because I discovered in our initial meeting that he was food aggressive and seemed to believe that biting fingers and ankles would was a good way to make friends. I decided to keep looking. While I was there, a couple of girls attempted to walk in, but quickly gave up when they got friend, the friendly ankle bites. Before I left, I went back to see him one last time. Something had changed. He was very chill, no jumping, no biting, just walked over to me and leaned against my leg. He pressed against me with all of his weight. I said, I'll be back in a week. You better not be here. Oh, uh, seven days later, I took him home. That was 10 years ago. We beat the food aggression, ankle biting, uninvited jumping, learned to walk on leash. Come sit, stay. He's good in a crowd with small children and the elderly like cats and other dogs and doesn't chase the bunnies and squirrels. He knows my routine now and is usually a step ahead. We're usually together, but, what, but no one to give each other some space. I recently found out through Embark that he has a litter mate living nearby. I've chatted with his owner, and they share a few quirks, hoping to arrange to meet up at some point. Oh, that's, see, a very happy ending. I absolutely love that. Um, just, what was I, I was going to say something about that. Um, yes, dogs have boundaries, too. Dogs have boundaries. We can't be like all over them, like loving them as much as we want to. I love, I do that to all my dogs, but I've learned they have their boundaries. They're like, stop it, don't touch me there, and you know, like, like the paws, the front paws. My dog Ivy does not like at all touching, so I won't touch them. She'll like, you know, go. She won't be aggressive about it, but she'll just be like, no, don't do it. And that's when you know, okay, that's a boundary that she doesn't want, right? Athena, born to the dog of an old lady. Um, they were called the mac and cheese litter because that was what they were fed as puppies as that was all the owner could afford. Surrendered to a shelter at four months old, all pups were adopted at the adoption event before they made it to the shelter. She was our first dog. We got her in January 2010. She passed in February of this year. Artemis found us a stray and went into the county shelter at an estimated eight months of age adopted returned immediately vomited on couch had been spayed earlier that day adopted to us in july 2011 our second dog still with us moki formerly known as lego mama jasmine gave birth in an alley to eight pups in lufkin texas or lufkin sorry if i pronounced that wrong Mama and Pups came to us in March of 2020, just as the COVID lockdowns were starting. Disney's Aladdin on Broadway that had just come to Austin, hence the litter them. Um, Jasmine was our th 310th foster dog since our first foster in May 2012. Moki and his siblings were fosters of 311 to 318. Moki was our first foster fail per DNA testing. We know there were at least two fathers to his litter as two of his siblings were also tested via Embark, and they show up as siblings to each other, but half-siblings to him. Gogo, formerly known as Bill Foster, number 413, October of 2022. Yes, 100 Fosters came through our home in the 18 months since Moki. She gave birth to 12 pup pups in the parking lot of an apartment complex in Donna, Texas. Two pups were dead by the time animal control arrived. Ten pups made it to us three days later. We lost one pup that first day. Several days later, Four pups started crashing. We were able to save two of the four plus the other five that didn't crash. Belle, the mother of Disney descendants, later had er, 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 oh my god, Ehrlichia, a tick-borne illness that resulted in poor milk quality, amongst others. We had to swap the four pups to two feeding, and the rest of the bottles go go immediately took a liking to Moki and us. Instead of being defensive of her pups, she would bring Moki to them. To help her clean them, we named the to go go to fit the big hero six theme that Moki was named after when we adopted her. Um, just before I move on to the last part of this person's story, um, I wonder how dogs feel when one of them doesn't make it, you know, and because they could carry a litter of like what nine puppies in one, like it's crazy to me. But I'm curious if they can't make it what happened, like how the puppy, like if the mother even realizes it. And this is going to be the same story, but the last story at the same time. So the same story, but the last part of the story, and then that is it. So Peppa temporarily named Whitney as she was a pregnant street dog captured in Houston, Texas. In December of 2021, she came to us to have her puppies, some of them, such a sacred girl initially. It took six weeks before we could get to her to go out into our yard. We used more puppy pads for her than for her puppies. 
Once the puppies were born, we named to Peppa as we went with an Enchanto theme for the litter. Yes, there was a Bruno, and we obviously talked about him. She loves us and has worn, worn to some friends, but remains skittish in general. We adopted her in February 2023 after Athena died, keeping our permanent pack at four. Oh, that is so sweet. So cute. Um, that is it for me, I think. Yeah. That's it for me, you guys. Sorry, <laughs> I will do. Sh I will share more of these, but let me know in the comments below if you would like to uh, hear more of them. Um, I don't think I'll ever do sad ones. I'll do ones with only happy endings. Uh, I know there are s unfortunately some sad ones where rescues just can't be rescued, unfortunately, and um, that happens which is a very sad situation but before my dog goes crazy i'm gonna say bye now but don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below have an awesome rest of your day bye now